Hey yo guys, it's your boy Midnight Snorlax and we back again playing Q also known as Cards, the Universe and everything. So for this video we're gonna be playing League and we're gonna be testing out my new deck that is called the Energy Boosters. So we're gonna go here to match and select deck. Um, this Energy Boosters deck have different types of cards that consist of cards that will help me boost up the energy in my energy cost and the energy points that I'm going to be using in order to battle my opponent. So I'm going to be playing my rank right now is rank 14 Sphinx. I've been testing out this um, energy boosters deck and it was going well but I have a feeling that there is something missing because I don't have most of the card or I haven't collected all of the cards yet so there are different cards out there so let's start playing we're here in life on land terrain and for this round I'm gonna be going easy using the Cornish Rex and since my opponent has an ocean and sea card, I'm going to be using the Mako Fish. And then I will be using the Triceratops so that I will gain plus 10 to all of my cards. So I have 179. My opponent has 50 plus 18 to all. My opponent has 86. So we have the advantage in here. So now we have mostly history cards. So my Ankh used the ability, its ability, so it gained all 5 points to my cards. So for this, I'm going to be using the Ankh. And then I'm going to be using the Sandwich Theory. And then I will be using Martin Luther King Jr. Which I'll have plus 20 to all. So I have 216. My opponent has 112 plus 50, 162. So my energy cost is 27. So that's good. It didn't go very low. And my opponent's energy cost is 32. So I have a feeling in the next round, my opponent will be doing some combos with a large number of energy costs. So for this, I'm going to be using the Golden Pheasant so we can gain plus 3 energy cost. And I'll be using the Alexander the Great so that we'll gain plus 2 energy cost for the round. And then I'll be using the Moorish Idol so that we'll gain plus 12. So we have 174. Our opponent has 54. And then he gains one plus one energy cost so we won this round we gain plus three so we have 20 our energy cost for the round was deducted a while ago it was nine now it's seven okay so now my uh, puss caterpillar used its ability to give plus 30 energy points to my king leonidas you need us so we're gonna be using this Spartan helmet and King Leonidas to make a combo and then we'll be using this Puss Caterpillar we have not 192 and we made the Spartan combo our opponent has 285 our opponent has the most advantage So as for now, I'm going to be using this bendy straw so that at the end of the round it will give minus 18 to the remaining card of my opponent and then I'll be using the HMS Beagle to gain plus 1 permanently for the energy cost and then I'll be using the Water Strider to give plus 10 to my ocean and seas card so I have 115 my opponent gained plus 1 energy cost 157 my opponent has the 
most advantage and I have B disadvantage but I have deducted minus 18 to the remaining card of my opponent so now we're gonna be using I'll be using the you know I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna end turn so that I will gain plus eight energy cost plus I know that I'm not gonna win this round since my opponent has more advantage and I have the disadvantage so we lost this round in the next round we're in the history terrain so I have deducted minus two energy points for this round I'll be using the Cornish Rex, the Mako Sharks, since my opponent has Ocean and Seas cards, and I'm gonna be using the Magnetar to gain plus 30 to all of my cards. And turn I have 179. My opponent has 82 energy points plus 18 to all 118. We have the advantage, and our opponent has the disadvantage. So we're going to be using the combo for the Sphinx. So the Ankh uses its ability to give 5 points to all. We have minus 5. So we're going to be using the Ankh. And then we're going to be using the Sphinx so that it can use its ability to give 15 to all ancient Egypt and um, mythical Egypt cards so we're gonna be using Martin Luther King Jr. to give plus 20 to all so we have 230 our opponent has 131 plus 50 181 so we have more advantage since we have 200 plus and our opponent has 100 plus and then we have um, plus one energy cost for the round So for this, I'm going to be using Alexander the Great so that we can gain plus 2 energy energy cost for per round. And then I'll be using this Golden Pheasant so we can gain plus 3. So we have 74. We have the disadvantage, I think. No, we have the advantage because we have 74 and our opponent has 47. But... Our opponent has five energy cost and we have um, four energy cost so now we're in the space terrain so we don't have any space cards so we can make a combo in here so I'll try to use this Richard Owens it gave plus 12 to my paleontology card so I'm going to be using this triceratops to give all plus 10 to my card so we have 130 our opponent has 198 our opponent has more advantage to it so I think what we need to do is that we need to use at least one card so I'll be using the this one the plus caterpillar and then end my turn because we are low in energy cost and we can't make any combo so our opponent is also using one also using one card so that they could gain energy cost but the problem is that per round I will gain 8 energy cost and for the opponent will get will gain um, 11 energy cost so instead I'll be using this bendy straw so that I will deduct minus 18 to the remaining card of the opponent for opponent and then we could gain um, more energy cost 
but I know we're gonna be losing this round so we're gonna be checking out if we could win this round in the last round because I think both of us are in tie um, my opponent won two times and then I won two times and I'm not sure if we're gonna win in here so I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using HMS Beagle so we could gain one permanently and then I'm gonna be using the Moorish Idol gain plus 12 so we have three left energy cost and we have 163 our opponent has 129 we have the advanced cost our opponent has 19 so my Cornish Rex activate, activated its ability to burn any legendary card in hand so I think our opponent has um, a legendary card in there so we have negative 20 let's try to make a combo with the Spartan helmet and then the King Leonidas and then the water strider so we have 155 our opponent has 17 already now it's 101 plus 30 131 and then plus another 30 161 and then plus 18 to all 215 so our opponent has more advantage and we have the disadvantage so if we can only cross the line a little to the enemy side then we're gonna have the advantage so the Ankh gave its ability gave all five plus five to all so I'm gonna be using this Mako shark so that the um, ocean and seas to the opponent side will be deducted and I'll be using the Cornish Rex what if I'll remove the Mako shark and then I'll replace it with the sandwich theory then we will gain um, plus we will gain plus 30 so we have 86 so yeah I'm gonna lose this round I knew that there's something missing in this card. So let's play again. It was a good game to play with uh, this guy. Um, there was a close winning into it, but uh, he have more advantage since um, he gained a lot of energy cost per round. So that was a great game, well played, home. Okay, so now we're playing the second game. So we're gonna be checking out if this deck is really good or if it's okay. Um, if you guys like the content, like the video, go click the subscribe button, click the like button, and comment down below if I should make more videos like this. I would gladly make more videos and um yeah let's go start the game so we're in the science terrain um we don't have any science cards so we're gonna be starting with the golden pheasant so we can gain plus three and then we're gonna be using this puss cutter pillar so we're gonna be going easy we're not gonna be using three cards we have remaining 39 energy cost our opponent has 35 so we have gained plus 3 energy cost. Um, our opponent has the advantage since the our opponent's line went to our side and we didn't reach their side. So for this I'm going to be using the Sphinx and I'm going to be using the Ankh so that we can uh, gain the combo and then I'm going to be using um, the Alexander the Great so that we can gain plus 2 energy cost. So and we have 138 our opponent has 194 plus 20 214 so our opponent has 214 we have the disadvantage so i think we're gonna be losing this round but that's fine as long as we will gain more um energy cost because in in the next round we we might have a problem if our energy cost is uh very low so for this, I'm just going to be using the Triceratops plus 10 to all cards 
and then Martin Luther King Jr. plus 20 to all cards and then I'll be using the only that one so we have 133 our opponent has 180 plus 54 234 so we're not going to be using all combos but we'll try to win in the next round okay so we lost this round our opponent has 15 energy cost and we have 43 energy cost so our HMS Beagle got minus 40 I think so since we're in the um, since we're in the ocean terrain ocean and seas terrain we're gonna be using this HMS Beagle to gain plus one permanently energy cost and then we're gonna be using this Mako Shark to deduct points the ocean and seas cards to the opponent to the enemy side or to the opponent side and then we're gonna be using the sandwich theory plus 30 to both cards we have 170 our opponent has 200 plus our opponent has the most advantage so let's see what can we do in order to win this round so our coordinate rex use its ability to burn plus um burn 25 energy points to the land life on land card to the enemy side meaning our enemy or opponent has a legendary card so we're going to be using this spartan helmet then plus 54 130 so let's try to use this magnetar so we use the Sparta combo. We have 220, our opponent has 91. So we have still 17 energy costs. We have the advantage and we reach to the enemy's side. So that's good because um, they've been having the advantage a while ago. They've been winning since a while ago. So we have 25 energy costs and our opponent has 8 energy costs. So that's good because we didn't waste our energy cost so i'm going to be using this bendy straw so that the remaining cards of our opponent will gain will deduct 18 points and i'll be using this cornish rex and then the water strider we have 103 our opponent has 64 and then minus 18 to all of the cards 18 energy points we won this round next is the space arena so plus 30 to a random card which is the push caterpillar so we're gonna be using this golden pheasant so that we can gain plus three energy cost and then we're gonna be using this push caterpillar and then the moorish idol plus 12 to itself since that is a fabulous fish so we have 194 our opponent has 85 points so we have the advantage plus 5 to all of the cards so i'm gonna be using this um, triceratops and then richard owen so that we could uh, gain a combo to both of them so we have 190, 141 our opponent has like 35 i think so we won this we will win this round we didn't win yet but we will win this round so i'm gonna be using the hms beagle and then the alexander the great so that we can gain plus two energy points uh, energy cost so we're gonna end it we have 81 our opponent has 40 plus 50 90 so all right our opponent has the advantage but we won this round so we have two we won two times and then we're here in the arts and culture terrain so we're gonna be using this one the Sphinx gain plus 15 to my ancient card. I'm gonna be using the Ankh. And then we have um, 120. Our opponent has 83. 
so plus 10 to all 103 so we have the advantage um, our opponent has zero energy cost and we have two energy cost now we have 11 and the opponent has seven so we're gonna be using this combo the spartan combo we're gonna be using spartan helmet and then king leonidas leonidas plus 15 plus 54 to my spartan helmet so we're gonna end this one we have 130 our opponent is 75 so we have the advantage So for this round, since we have 11, we're gonna be using this um, bendy straw to deduct all of the points or 18 points to the remaining cards of our opponent and then we're gonna be using the sandwich theory so that we will gain plus 30. And then this Martin Luther King Jr. so that we will gain plus 20 to all cards. So we have 176, our opponent has 68. So we won this round and that's it. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Again, comment down below, click the like button, subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you'll get notified for, more, for new videos. And if you guys are interested for to watch this type of content, um, comment down below I'll make more or you could check out my other videos in my channel if you want to see more and um, I would also put the types of cards that I use in the description box so thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video bye